Hey guys, it's like 8.35, um, I've been getting very good sleep lately, so, but I'm, so I'm pretty tired, and even though it's pretty early, but I am got bored, so I want to make a video, um, so I figure I should just make one, um, earlier today, my corn snake, my snow corn snake was pretty angry, she bit me, and then pooped on me, um, her feeding is tomorrow, so I'm assuming she's hungry or whatever. But I figured I'll just take her out and show her to you guys. Um, this is your first video. I have like two more out, like four more out there. Two of them are like feeding, and two, uh, the other two are like my um, actual show. Um, in the su in the spring, I'm gonna start doing some herping, which I'm pretty excited about. So I'm gonna just grab her real quick. Okay, so here she is. She seems to be a little skittish. She's better than she was earlier today when she was just biting and biting and biting and biting. And pooping. So, yeah, she seems to be doing better. But she's definitely hungry. Uh, so I'm going to feed her tomorrow. I'll get that on tape for you guys, even though I've run on tape for you guys four times now. But I'm planning on doing that for each episode. So, yep. Um, she's normally really docile. I'm hoping she's going to feed tomorrow. Her eyes were cloudy, and then two days late. The second day, they were even more cloudy, and the third day, they were completely fine. So, I figured maybe she shed, so I'm looking all over her cage for a shed, and she didn't shed at all. So, I don't know. Um, doing fine now. Eyes are completely clear. Um, I'm pretty sure she's a girl. Um, seeing, just telling by how quickly the tail tapers. From the cloaca to the actual tail. So, um, yeah, she's definitely gotten bigger since when I got her. Um, I got her a few weeks, uh, yeah, a few weeks ago. She's definitely gotten a few inches bigger. But she's. She loves to climb. She's always climbing on a branch. And I put a humidity box in there because she it's not very humid in there. It's not keeping humidity too well. Because I have a heat emitter and those really dry everything out really quick. So, yeah. She seems to be doing really well. She seems happy. She doesn't want to bite me. She just wants to climb. Um, so, yeah. So, yeah, I'll definitely get her feeding on tape for you guys tomorrow. Those are great pets. Doesn't really hurt that bad when they bite, unless it's like a feeding response, um, which is when they actually try to tail, like, coil and they bite harder and they won't let go, which she didn't do to me today. She just bit really hard. But she's looking right at the camera. That is kind of creepy. <laughs> she has great eyesight though. She's just these things are amazing. Though. Like she doesn't even have to follow my hand because she just knows where it is already. But they're really cool. Um so yeah. Um these normally range around like Florida. Mostly is where people find them. But yeah. So I just want to show you guys. So these will climb trees uh, pretty often. Them and rat snakes, which these are often called red rat snakes. As you see, she's not red because she's a snow corn snake, so she's not red at all. See, I'm. Um, she wrapped around my two fingers, and she's climbed all the way back up my hand. 
Um, yeah, she's a good size. I mean, she's. I can't really get it. Yeah. Me or anything, but. Um, she's really nice. She feeds so easy. I'll see videos, other videos on YouTube, and they'll say, and they'll show, and they're having a little difficulty, but she, first five seconds, the mouse is in there, she automatically goes for it. Um, and she digests it usually within two days. And I don't handle her till after she boots, because that is a bad story that happened. So. Yeah, but they're really cool. Um, they do not like being touched in the tail whatsoever. See if I just tap her tail, she kind of scurries away. Now she's trying to climb on a laptop. But yeah, they these snakes are probably the most loved to be handled snakes I've ever seen in my life. Um, not when they're about to shed. I wouldn't handle them when they're about to shed or it's on feeding day or pretty soon. Um, but she doesn't seem too hungry anymore. I think maybe her cage was a little too dry and she was itchy. I, I don't know. But she's doing fine now. Um. Yeah. Really cool animals. Um. Now, people, these aren't venomous. I. Probably, if you're watching this video, you probably already know that, because you probably wouldn't be watching videos about snakes if you didn't like them or didn't really know much about them. But, as you can see, she has brown pupils, and not all people say all the time the way you identify a venomous snake from a non-venomous is if they have round pupils or not, which isn't always completely true. They might have, like a reticulated python has like a diamond-shaped pupil. Yet they're not venomous, they're pythons. And no python is ven venomous. And I live here in Maine, so I don't have to worry about anything venomous here. It kind of stinks, but, um. Yeah. I mean, if you live something like Chicago or Illinois or Florida, you kind of see cotton mouths and copperheads. But most snakes don't like to be touched in the head, but she seems to kind of like it. It seems kind of relaxing to her. If you're not pushing down or too hard or have something under, she really seems to like it. I guess her eyes are a little cloudy. Maybe they are a little cloudy. This eye seems... Smile for the camera. Smile for the camera. Maybe they're clear. I don't know. I'll try to get a close up. Kind of hard to me. So yeah, comment below. Tell me what you think about her. Tell me if her eyes look cloudy to you. Um, ooh, you like the camera, don't you?